Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Greenstone from Old Nation Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And we are gonna try Greenstone from Old Nation. This is a DDHAPA, Double Dry Hopped American Pale Ale. We have rolled it and it even shows on the this can is amazing. how to roll it. To and, not be afraid of sediment. Right. Um, Don't freak out is what it says. They must have just added that because on all the M43 ones that we've had, yeah, it has not had that. No. Oh, you can smell it. You want more? No. Are you sure? I have three more upstairs. Oh, that's right. I was smart and bought yeah. four. Um, 6 11 18 is when this was canned. Um, malts Brash. are... Pale Oat Wheat Rye, Magnum, and Michigan Chinook, Michigan Crystal, dry hopped with Michigan Chinook and Michigan Crystal, and Simcoe. I love how they do these cans. They list everything on there. They can do it. Why can't bigger breweries? Why don't you take me on a date there if you love yeah, everything I, about them and so do I. We would have to stay up there because I'd be drinking their beer all day and all night. 5.5% ABV. 40 IBUs. Sounds like you need to make some Everything to take me on Everything right on the can. Um, we do have kind of an off-white head. I'm guessing it's the transparency coming through. Um, uh, small bubbles, even from the side, compacted together. Half a finger of head. Very hazy. Thick and juicy. I almost want to say it's like pear. Okay. Like the color is like the inside of a pear. Okay. Very hazy. You can't see through this thing. You don't want to anyway. No. Ready? Yep. Okay, smell. It smells happy. I haven't had a an, an IPA of any sort in months. Yeah. Are you salivating? Nope. <laughs> Wishing you didn't do this? I'm not sure. Danny says it's good. We're going to see I if get Danny's right. Like a fruity yeast character. And I'm going to go back to this. Most New England IPAs give that yeast character to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like an over f fruity, juicy beer. But I always get that yeasty character in the smell mm -hmm. of good New England IPAs. Even though this is saying it's American Pale Ale. But yeah, fruitiness, juiciness, a little bit, I'm going to say like dank hops. Okay. But that's about it. Good smell. Taste? That has a weird taste to it. What is that? I'm guessing. Is that what crystal tastes like? Are you getting a berry note? Kind of. That's Simcoe. Really? Yeah. I was going to say like a, almost like a strawberry or like a kind of blueberry bubblegum taste. Mm -hmm. And that's the Simcoe. Danny's right. This is good. I like it. Medium body. Very smooth. I almost want to say like a, it's more like a, a orange juice than fruitiness to me okay um up front like i i do get some bubbles that are popping up front then as it's going back i do get a berry like a a berry strawberry blueberry kind of thing with like a tiny bit of bubble gum in there that's so weird then the Jeez, aftertaste yeah. is more citrus so like the taste and aftertaste is more on the citrus side where the smell to me, is more fruity. That was pretty good. I really don't know. I don't know why they're calling it Greenstone. Because they can? Well. I just cannot get over this label. I just love this. Don't freak out. Sediment and what you can do about it. 
there is sediment in the bottom of the can. It's okay. Right. I just love the directions, but this is really good. Really good. I and like it. We did, or Jessica did pick this up at Myers. Up in, I picked it up at Meyer in Plainwell, yeah. and it was on sale because my coworkers look out for me yeah. and send me. I always expensive. look at the Myers by us, and they never have anything. Right, the Meyer on Shaver Road doesn't, but Plainwell did, and I maybe was maybe a few minutes late to work because I <laughs> stopped and got it got in the morning before I wasn't it was sure gone. that it would be there. Yeah, at five thirty on a Friday night, but um. This is really good. I these it's like they can't do wrong. It's so almost, far. The, I love these. I beers. know this isn't a good comparison, but to me, um, Old Nation is like Michigan's treehouse. Okay. Except I, for I don't like any treehouse beer. <laughs> well, they they were all good. Okay. But um, just Old Nation does distribute, and we can get them. Okay. Because they're in East Lansing. Oh, they're towards Detroit, I think. Aren't they? Are they not? I thought they were. Maybe, yeah, they might be on the other side of Lansing. Williamston, Michigan. Okay. What's in East Lansing? Ellison. Ellison, that's right. Sorry. But, yeah, it's they they are making some good beers. The, the problem that we have is kind of like the treehouse thing, even though you have to go to the brewery to get treehouse. Once this stuff comes out, it's almost impossible to get. Yeah, this has been out probably for a couple months. Yeah, and this is the first time we June. saw it. Yeah, Yeah, Donnie had it, what, a month ago or yeah. something? Because John stopped at the brewery and I think bought it for him. But. Like their very first one, M43, you couldn't get. They only produced so much of it and usually it was gone. I think I've got, I got the last can a year ago somewhere and now... Um, they started producing that all year round, so a lot of stores do have a lot of it. But there's like a side cart, a strawberry M43. That one we have not. We haven't had the strawberry tart. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, did I say, say strawberry M cart? No, M43. There, yeah. There's a side cart. I'm, yeah. I believe it's called. Cart horse. Cart horse. Yeah. Some, <laughs> who knows? Have you done any research before you no, talk about No, because I can never find them. I just go look for them. Um, the cart horse. We didn't We didn't have the cart horse, right? We've had Boss Tweed, which is amazing. Yeah, Boss we, Tweed and M43. Tart, I can, cannot find. Right. Couldn't find. Everyone liked it, though, that had it. But I'll take this. This yeah. is good stuff. I'd give it like a four and a half out of five. I like okay. it. This is I, good. I was going to go four and a half. The only thing that I would change, I want more fruitiness. Re really? Yeah, because you gave it a 4.5, so there has to be something wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I would look for more fruit. I just think it's good. It's because it's of... I think yeah. it, the reason that I gave it four and a half is because I still smell too many hops. I still don't oh, like the smell of hops. Okay. I don't like the taste of hops either. Okay. That's, I don't. Yeah. Like, I'm, I am, like, tasting, like, leafy. I yeah. think it, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it mo needs more of that fruitiness in the, okay, let's back up. Okay. For a New England IPA, in the smell, you do get the juiciness, the fruitiness. In the taste, it's more citrus. So you'd forward. rather it smell, it tastes like it smells. Yeah, if if it was going to be a citrus New England IPA, mm -hmm. I would want less fruitiness okay. in the smell. Lots of ness. Now, obviously, it says Greenstone, and it tells us what hops they use. The weird part. Is Chinook is spicy. Yeah, okay. And there's no spiciness in this beer. That's okay. Maybe the Simcoe took over. Right. I don't want spicy but, beer. But yeah, I, I like it. It's just because of the smell, you are getting that fruitiness, that juiciness. I want that more in the taste also. You come off as opinionated and judgmental. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to tell you why you're my famous. opinion. Of this beer. No, no, I'm the one that's supposed to be opinionated. So you're going 4.5. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I am. 
I, I agree with that, and I like it, and that's what I'm sticking with. So, um, 25 of my friends have rated this. Average 4.18. Okay. Um, a little over 4,000 people have rated this. Average 4.03. I would like it more, because I never agree with anyone. Jordan said, most underrated in the on-tap lineup. Oh, really? Yep. I think it's good. I didn't know what to expect, to Mike be honest Spall with you. Mike Spall gave it a 4.5, too, so we are right on. And he okay. said citrus. So I, I think that it tastes good. I wasn't sure what to expect when it said American Pale Ale. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm drinking. Yeah. I, you know, when I pick just these up, it. I'm just drinking them. And then I if think I like at, them, I like them if not. As it warms up, as it goes down, I do get more of a bubble gum. Like okay, it's so it just needs to sit for a second. Yeah. But I think that's what I thought about the Boss Tweet, didn't I? One of them, I liked it just a tad warmer. Yeah. Not right out of the fridge. And yeah. these were pulling right out yeah, of the fridge. Yeah, we're pulling them right out, setting them up, looking them up and going. So, yeah. Very good beer. Yeah, I like it. Yep. So let her wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.